Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudo Buyo playing Vanilla Minecraft 1.8.7 PC Edition. Uh, and this video is a bit of a ret retrospective of my uh, early game strategy for conquering an ocean monument. Um, and the series of videos that I had put up, um, I had a lot of detail on how to do every aspect of this. Um, I, I think uh, things went relatively well, uh, but there are some additional things to be said. Um, first, uh, this is really an early game strategy. Uh, you can see that I've got a stone pickaxe there. Um, uh, conquering this ocean monument, that included uh, killing the Elder Guardians, um, extracting the treasure, draining the inside of the monument, and draining all the water above the monument. Uh, all of that was done with no enchantments and no potions. Uh, I didn't need to find any villages, uh, I didn't need to find any uncommon biomes, and I didn't need to travel f to the nether for anything. Uh, I also required just a, a small amount of uh, less common materials, and um, I did include videos uh, for relatively quickly gathering the, um, uh, the less common materials that are a bit harder to obtain. Um, <clears throat> As an early game strategy, I should mention that this is not the fastest way to conquer the Ocean Monument. Um, it's certainly not the fastest way to kill the Elder Guardians. Uh, I think uh, I can do the whole process. Um, the, my fastest is maybe in about 15 minutes. Uh, but with better equipment, uh, namely uh, Depth Strider boots and potions of invisibility and underwater breathing, uh, the, the Elder Guardians can be killed uh, pretty quickly by just simply infiltrating the monument uh, through the entrance uh, that's down below here. Um, uh, this is also not the fastest way to clear water from above the monument. Um, the, I used a, a cover of uh, stone and leaves that ha had kind of a quilt-like pattern to it. And I used that uh, quilt-like pattern to, um, uh, to section off the water uh, all, the way, all the way around the, uh, above the monument. Um, and then I removed each section individually. Um, that is relatively effective uh, for when you're not outfitted with diamond armor and uh, depth strider boots and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but it is faster to, uh, uh, to clear the water from above the monument by using a kind of scaffolding technique. Uh, where you uh, um, place a block of uh, place a line of easily breakable blocks all the way across uh, either the entire the entire way across uh, one side of the ocean monument or some uh, larger section of it, and then you just walk across those uh, uh, that line of blocks that you placed, spamming sponges. Um, so it does require better equipment. Uh, it does require more sponges. Uh, or at least plenty of sponges, um, um, and it is a lot faster. Um, it's maybe about uh, two or three times as fast as uh, the technique that I used here, uh, but it does uh, require some additional equipment. I, I looked for some videos on how to do that. I was thinking about uh, producing my own, um, and maybe I'll do that someday. Uh, in, in the meantime, uh, the one that I did find uh, is by, uh, um, it's in one of Matamato's videos, um, his, one of his deliciously ranty videos. Uh, so um, I'll put a link to that in the description here. Uh, let's see. Uh, a few um, a few mistakes that I need to correct um, as I, I produced a lot of video and uh, errors were bound to happen. Um, I placed some, uh, incorrectly placed some torches, I incorrectly placed some sponges and a few other things. Uh, it turns out that it's harder than I thought it would be to talk about what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Um, uh, but uh, besides those, uh, those minor things, um, I, I did misspeak about the amount of sand that I left on the ocean floor. Uh, you can see there's the path uh, that's all filled with uh, sand down to the ocean floor there. Um, I said that I used, uh, that I left almost 80 stacks of sand uh, on the ocean floor. Um, that was actually the amount of sand that I had left. Um, instead, I, I, um, uh, that I have remaining in my chests up here. Uh, instead, I left um, about 108 stacks of sand on the ocean floor. So a uh, considerable amount of sand is, uh, is down there. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I also um, um, uh, was incorrect when I said that the guardians were fully enclosed after I dumped the last section of the sand retaining wall. Um, it turns out that they can swim around the underside of the monument um, uh, because there, there's still some openings down there. 
that doesn't really seem to happen very often in practice, uh, um, so I wasn't. Uh, it's probably not something that you need to worry about. Uh, the the one mistake that really bothers me though is uh, my statement about boat mechanics. Uh, a long time ago when I was talking about how to kill the first Elder Guardian uh, and I was establishing a safe position on, uh, over the ring of the monument here, I, I said that uh, when a player exits a boat over open water, they get dumped one block to the east. Uh, and that behavior changed for me over time. I, I started getting dumped one block to the west. I'm not sure why that is, um, but it's clear that I don't understand boat mechanics as well as I thought that I did. Um, so my, my recommendation is that before you uh, try to establish that uh, safe position over the ring of the monument, uh, just place a boat on dry land and uh, get in it on a big flat space of dry land, get in the boat and, uh, and test to see what uh, direction you get dumped in. Um, uh, that, that seems to be um, a, reasonable, uh, a reasonable way to test that. Uh, let's see. Uh, a couple of, uh, besides the mistakes, um, a couple of observations. Uh, I did start with leather armor. Um, I'm not wearing anything right now. I, I lost my armor somewhere along the way, and I decided that I didn't need it, um, which actually is going to save me some time getting set up here, because uh, then I don't have to uh, go find a bunch of cows or horses. Um, uh, let's see. I uh, I didn't actually need the armor, uh, but I did have a near-death experience when I was draining the water tanks. I think it was one of the water tanks over there. Um, I, I confused the items that I had in my hot bar, uh, and so I was flailing around trying to press press stuff as guardians were attacking me. Um, uh, and I also had a few harrowing experiences uh, due to guardians being in the way while I was trying to place sugar canes or a sponge uh, while draining the water tanks. Um, uh, that can be mitigated by sinking back down onto the central sand pillar, and, and that kind of pushes the guardians out of the way so, you, so that you can place the blocks. But uh, uh, I expect to take a, a few hits uh, while you're draining the water tanks. Uh, armor could help with that. Turns out that I didn't need it, although I did, like I said, I did come pretty close once. Um, I also uh, ran out of food, um, uh, although that was mostly due to uh, careless munching. Uh, every time I would, uh, every time I would notice that I was down half a drumstick, I would eat an entire steak, which is pretty wasteful. Uh, so I probably, if I, I probably wouldn't have ran out of food if I had managed that a bit better. Um, I also nearly ran out of furnace fuel. Uh, let's see, I have uh, somewhere, yeah, I have uh, six uh, pieces of charcoal left. Um, uh, that, um, uh, there's still a little bit left uh, of those initial three stacks of charcoal that I had, uh, even though I was being a bit spammy with sponges towards the end. Uh, and even if I did run out of charcoal, I'd still have alternatives, like um, I had a whole bunch of wood planks that I was using for the sand pushers, um, and I would end up having a whole bunch of those uh, left over, uh, yeah, and it ended up having almost one and a half stacks left over, so I could burn a few of those if, if absolutely necessary. Um, uh, let's see, anything else? Um, a, cu a couple of cautions. Um, I. I I did engineer uh, um, procedures for torch placement uh, that were supposed to allow me to um, uh, continue working all through the night on this. I, I never had to sleep. Um, and uh, for the most part, that's true. But I did notice later uh, that there were, there were a few blocks of the cover that had a light level less than eight where mobs can spawn. Um, uh, I never had a problem with that uh, occurring. It's pretty unlikely, but, um, but it could happen. And, and those blocks were along the sand that I dumped, um, uh, getting ready to, dump, uh, to drop sand o over this path. I built some high walls kind of in the middle here. Uh, and it was the blocks of the cover on the left-hand side of that high middle wall of sand. Uh, a few of those blocks had a light level of seven, so I'd probably want to uh, place a, a couple more torches there uh, just to be absolutely certain that no mobs are spawning while I'm working. Um, and uh, one, last, uh, one last word of caution, I guess. Um, it's not actually always possible to AFK sand dumping. Um, 
Uh, and that's because there there can be a slight mob risk. Um, every once in a while when you're boating around the ocean, you may notice um, a, a seemingly random zombie or creep or some, uh, something bobbing, uh, bobbing in the water. And that's because uh, caverns that generate um, uh, near the ocean floor sometimes have access to the ocean floor. There's a little bit of open uh, open water there. Uh, and uh, if the mobs can kind of just simply walk out, they don't have to do uh, um, a lot of swimming upwards. Um, they have a tendency to enter the water and then uh, kind of swim upwards to the uh, uh, to the <laughs> to the uh, sea, uh, to the top of the sea, to the surface of the water, uh, where um, where they just kind of stay there and, until uh, <laughs> until they they despawn or uh, or in the case of AFK and sand dumping until they notice that you were up there and hopped up on the cover and uh, would have a creeper come over next to you uh, and blow you up while you weren't at your keyboard. So. Um, I, my guess is that if that was actually the case for any uh, underwater caverns, uh, that uh, you would notice mobs uh, coming up to the surface uh, long before you ever started AFKing sand dumping. So um, I, I, I would take the lack of mobs prior to that point as an indication that you're not going to have to worry about it. Uh, so uh, now on to changes in the procedure. Um, a couple of things that I would uh, I would change with respect to the project materials. Uh, let's see, here it is. Um, I would add an iron pickaxe to the project materials, and, and that's because an iron pickaxe is necessary to uh, retrieve the gold blocks uh, from inside the monument. Uh, I when I was um, uh, when I was mining for the uh, some of the initial project materials, I did have to craft an iron pickaxe in order to obtain the redstone that I needed for uh, uh, for AFK sand dumping. Uh, so I already did have an iron pickaxe, um, but I really should add that to my project materials. Um, and, and I would also add another bucket to my project materials. I had four buckets, um, uh, and uh, I would add five. And that way, when I'm killing the Elder Guardians, I could bring along four buckets of milk. Uh, I, I need one empty bucket for shucking water around. Uh, but if I had four buckets of milk, that would uh, potentially significantly reduce the amount of time that I would be waiting for Elder Guardians to afflict me with mining fatigue. So um, uh, I, would, I would add that, and that would bring the total cost of uh, iron uh, that I would have to find at the beginning of the game to 32 iron ingots, um, if you included the initial pair of shears that I would need to obtain the leaf blocks as well. Uh, what else? Um, uh, as for sand, um, so I did start uh, with um, uh, with three double chests of sand. That turned out to not be quite enough. Uh, I had to go get some more. I, I got too much. I, I got uh, uh, I got basically another single chest of sand, uh, and uh, in the end, I really only needed maybe 13 or 14 stacks in in order to finish. Um, so I, I did get way more than necessary, uh, but even so, uh, the next time I would probably start only with two double chests, uh, and uh, and I would just gather more as needed. And that's because um, uh, this ocean monument, uh, the ocean is relatively deep all the way around it, uh, but I could have the opposite, uh, uh, where the ocean is relatively shallow all the way around it, in which case I'd be leaving almost no sand on the ocean floor. Uh, so if I had gathered three double chests of sand at the beginning of the game, I would have wasted a lot of time because I, I wouldn't need nearly that amount. So uh, next time, probably get two, do two double chests and just um, uh, gather more as necessary. Uh, I also uh, would not be uh, building and operating the depth sand pusher. That's the sand pusher that I was using to build those high walls. Uh, and that's because um, I never really was dumping more than eight stacks of sand uh, while I was, um, in fact, it was far fewer, uh, far, uh, far less than eight stacks of sand when I was operating those. Uh, and um, the amount of time that it takes me to dump eight stacks of sand is probably about the amount of time that takes me to construct and deconstruct the sand pusher. Uh, so I might as well just dump the sand manually. Um, it probably even uh, I can do it a little bit faster than it takes me to build and, and uh, tear down the machines. Uh, so I, I wouldn't bother with the depth sand pusher. 
Uh, I also wouldn't bother with the breadth sand pusher over the middle sections of the cover. For the sections on the outside of the cover, it really makes sense because you're just dumping huge amounts of sand. Uh, but over the middle sections of the cover, which are all over the uh, the, the more raised parts of the ocean monument, uh, some of those sections uh, I'm actually dumping a little bit less than uh, a little bit less than eight stacks of sand, uh, and the other middle sections uh, is just slightly more than that. So uh, probably not worth it to uh, uh, to build those machines for dumping sand over the middle sections of the cover either. Uh, so those are the changes. Um, I, I should mention that I've never really done a full timing test of the whole strategy here. And now with these revisions, that's probably the next step for me uh, to, uh, to do this whole thing end to end in the survival world. Um, I have done all the pieces in, survi in survival worlds uh, while doing various testing. Uh, and I've done all of the pieces here in survival mode. Um, uh, but, um, but yeah, it would be fun to do an end to end, uh, on this, uh, f with the whole strategy at the beginning of a new game, just to see about how many Minecraft days it would take. Um, I, I can get set up, uh, with all of my project materials, uh, including the, uh, three double chests of sand, um, in about four Minecraft weeks. Um, which isn't too bad. Um, yeah, that includes finding the ocean monument and finding all the uh, all the uh, material that I need and farming pumpkins and everything. So it takes me about four Minecraft weeks to do that, maybe five. Uh, and um, and then I don't exactly know how long it uh, takes me to actually conquer the ocean monument. So it'd, it'd be fun to uh, figure that out. Uh, and um, and that is that's pretty much it. Um, uh, before I sign off here, I would like to give a shout out to a, a couple of a uh, couple of folks um, uh, that inspired me to complete this series. <laughs> it was a really long series. Uh, it was a lot of fun, but it was really long. Um, Blaze Ranger has a series of his own up where he begins a new world conquering an ocean monument. Uh, and he uh, does a bit of a more traditional strategy where he does all the fun things like traveling to the nether. Uh, it's, a, it's a fun series to watch. I highly recommend you check it out if you want to uh, see an alternative strategy for conquering an ocean monument. Um, another group uh, of people, uh, Fun Family Minecraft, um, <laughs> includes a, a little girl whose uh, reactions uh, throughout the series are, are just precious. Reminds me a lot of my own daughter. Uh, uh, they, uh, they produced a series on uh, uh, Conquering Ocean Monument, which is really more um, uh, exploration and discovery. Uh, fun to watch as well. So uh, uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, uh, thanks for the inspiration. Thanks for watching. Uh, and um, I think that is all for this series. Um, as always, if you have any questions or suggestions, please do leave a note in the comments, and thank you once more.